As Max Power continues to roll out their North American lithium strategy, we're joined by their CEO, Rav Malate, to take a deeper dive into their most recent news release of entering into a cooperative research and development agreement with the University of California Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory to develop state-of-the-art direct lithium extraction technologies for brine resources. Rav, welcome, my good man. Hey, great to see you, Brandon. And it's great to have you, Rav. Now, You've made a strong push into the exciting districts of Nunavik and James Bay for hard rock lithium, the Wilcox Playa in Arizona for potential lithium brine and or claystone deposits, and now direct lithium extraction technology through Berkeley. Can you tell us about this strategy that you're rolling out here for Max Power? Yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah, so we're really, really pleased and excited to be announcing this uh, cooperative research and development agreement with the Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory uh, in California at the University of California. Um, and so what the focus of this is going to be is the development of direct lithium extraction technology. And in particular, we're going to be uh, focusing on what we call real hard to develop, uh, lower grade, uh, full of contaminant uh, brine deposits that are primarily located in Canada, in the U.S., and other places across the globe. And really what's, what spurred us on into this is uh, a few different things. Uh, number one is really this focus on critical element uh, development here at home uh, in North America. And we've had collaboration between the United States government and the Canadian government more recently on strategies on how to um, best uh, secure critical elements, and one of the most important ones is lithium um, here in recent. So we are, we're really pleased to be a part of that process. Um, secondarily, I think that the DLE space and technologies involved in DLE are in their relative infancy. And we think that there's tremendous opportunities to build um, uh, in intellectual property, and innovation in this arena um, as the entire lithium space continues to evolve. Yeah, and speaking about uh, developing new methods and all of this, uh, investors may not already be aware of them, but you have some brilliant minds that you've just teamed up with, with Dr. Michael Whitaker and Dr. Brett Helms. Who are these two individuals and what led to this co collaboration with them? Yeah, sure, Brandon. Um, yeah, first of all, uh, you're absolutely right. They, we've got two exceptional uh, research uh, scientists um, at the Berkeley lab that are going to be working um, in collaboration with Max Power Mining. Uh, yeah, so first is Dr. Brett Helms. Uh, Dr. Brett Helms is a, is a uh, senior chemical engineer at Berkeley, and his lab has been really focused on energy and sustainability uh, projects to help the planet, um, and uh, and he's really developed some innovative technologies over the years. He has uh, close to over 30 patents that he's been involved in directly. Um, some of the he's been involved in, uh, in the, as a co-founder with a couple of Bay Area tech startups. So one of the companies that he's been working with is with a company called Sepion Technologies. They have been really working on some innovative technology with in relation to uh, improving lithium ion batteries and their performance. So some real cool stuff there. And he's also been working with a company called Cyclos Materials, another Bay Area company. And they have been on the on the forefront of making low carbon uh, bioplastics that can essentially be renewable um, uh, on a on a on a uh, infinite basis. So it is uh, very, very uh, cool to be involved with Dr. Brett Helms on this particular project. Dr. Michael Whitaker uh, is a staff research scientist also at Berkeley. And Dr. Whitaker is involved in the geoscience and materials department there. Um, he is a director and co-founder of the Lithium Resource Innovation Center, or it's also known as Lyric, and that's out of the Berkeley lab. And what that particular group does, it really focuses in on um, advanced technologies for the development of lithium uh, extraction. So uh, these are two exceptional uh, scientists that we are going to be working with 
here uh, over the coming months. Yeah, it sounds fascinating to be able to work with uh, two men with pedigrees and, and uh, you know, everything they've been able to accomplish in their career. Now turning that attention towards direct lithium extraction, like you said just a moment ago, how important it is for the world to be able to do that. For a lot of these bl- uh, brines and claystones, it's imperative that we are able to find technology to be able to extract it more efficiently because the world is moving this direction and the world needs more lithium, especially lithium at home in North America. Now, there's obviously a lot unfolding here. And quickly for Max Power, what can investors be excited about and looking forward to in the coming weeks and months coming down the pipeline from your company? Yeah, Max Power has had a number of uh, announcements of recent. Uh, We are now working in two separate camps in Quebec, Uh, one in the uh, James Bay uh, CV trend lithium area with our Corvette North and Corvette South. Uh, we are going to be getting going with exploration there very soon. Um, and then our newly announced um, Spark Lithium project, which is located in the Nunavik region. This area has tremendous potential, and uh, we're just mapping out some exploration plans there. And we, our shareholders and investors will hear about that very soon. And then um, also recently, we entered into the uh, into Arizona with our Wilcox uh, lithium playa uh, property, and there uh, just announced that we are we've we've con- we're conducting um, a geophysical program, and so we're active there with on the ground, and you'll be hearing a lot more about that exciting uh, project that has the potential for both claystones and brine. Um, and then you know with uh, with the announcement of us uh, working with the Berkeley Lab. Uh, on DLE technologies, on new innovation and intellectual property, that's going to really bring, I think, a, um, a tremendous shareholder value as we move into the future. So there's a lot going on, and uh, we have a lot more to talk about as as the weeks and months roll by. Yeah, fascinating to hear and exciting to hear as well, Ravel. Well, thank you so much for your time. Looking forward to seeing what happens over the course of the rest of this little spring here, but especially as we start getting into the summer, there's a lot happening with Max Power and looking forward to hearing more about that soon in the near future. Thank you again. Terrific, Brandon. Great to talk to you again. Bye-bye.